This is this one of our battery fountains. In this case, it's a battery fountain with a detached battery compartment. The batteries are here in this ceramic uh, compartment and the fountain is on this side. In this case, it's a fountain with, uh, for Persian cats with a insert with uh, drinking indentations. Pump and filter are inside here and as I said, battery is in here. The lid is secured with uh, stainless steel collar pins. You see it here. Stainless steel collar pins. Three of them. The cable goes here through the back side into the battery compartment. So it's hidden and Kitty can't get to it. The lid, the lid of the uh, battery compartment is secured too. You can't, or Kitty can't lift it up to get inside and uh, chew at the cables. So they are each on one side. I just put in one. So let's look inside. You see, in this case, here we have diesel batteries. Here we have two battery packs inside with a connector cable connected to the pump and the pump has a switch. So with this configuration the fountain will run approximately two weeks. With good diesel batteries the fountain runs approximately a week with one set and with another set connected to it, it runs approximately two weeks. Instead of the diesel batteries, you can use a five volt USB battery pack. In this case, it's an anger. get a uh, adapter and connect it to the pump and then you'll put it inside. So yeah, fit two of those batteries inside, actually more. So if you use one of this one of these uh, double connectors then you can actually connect then you can actually connect two batteries and with two batteries the fountain runs approximately nine days eight nine days so oh, here this one so and the other battery would be connected to this side here and let's get it inside now just with one Close it, put the pin in it, and start it. Instead of battery packs, you can let the one, you can let the pump run also with a low volt wall power adapter. In this case, you don't need battery compartment disconnected and connect connect the pump to the wall power adapter plug it in and your pump runs without battery out from the grid Okay, now let's try it with the O-ring and with this uh, white PVC ring. At first we put the O-ring in. Easiest thing is you hold it here where it connects together. together. Put it inside so that the connection is at, in the back. Push it down so that it just lays on the first, on the inner ring. 
then use the o-ring with this small side underneath and put it nicely inside don't push it down just put it nicely inside that it's leveled and push and put the insert on top and now let's wait what happens put here the measuring cone in and you see the water rises so that we have approximately a quarter inch of water inside so the water level rose to a quarter inch underneath the surface you can see it nicely here Now it even comes a bit more up so it rises a bit more so let's wait and see what happens now it's nearly flash and it it oscillates a bit so it moves up to an eighth of an inch beneath the, the surface and a quarter of an inch So you can use this fountain without anything inside and the water level is approximately 3 8 underneath the surface or just with a white PVC ring with a flat side underneath and then the water level is approximately quarter inch 5, five sixteenths underneath or you use it with a, the red uh, uh, silicon o-ring and with the silicon o-ring the water level rises to an eighth to a quarter underneath the surface. Thanks.